Greetings from the Eccentric Man, and we've got a game tonight again, Invasion of Britain, at the local game store, Lost Ark Games, in Stevenage. Uh, what I'm running up tonight is a British Army, which makes a change, and from left to right at the back I've got a Cromwell, and uh, a Greyhound, a little Universal Carrier, and uh, infantry-wise I've got two sections of British uh, Regular Infantry, a second lieutenant, sniper team, and the three commando units. One commando unit of five men with submachine guns, one unit of seven with uh, Vickers gun, and three machine guns and the rest rifle, and one unit of seven with a Vickers gun and rifles. At the back is a medium mortar with spotter, uh, sniper team at the front of something, I think I mentioned that, and cuddly toy, <laughs> and the Bren carrier at the back, which is going to be used for transporting five of the uh, commandos. Uh, going to be playing envelopment on the board here. And we'll be playing Spike this evening. That's Andy. And uh, we'll go through his army very shortly. Or close. Okay, the uh, German army for tonight. Got one second lieutenant with one man, both armed with assault rifles. Got two units of six veteran here, NCO, all armed with assault rifles and two men in each squad with Panzerfausts. Got one unit of five veteran here, two light machine guns, NCO, two loaders. One unit of veteran here, one NCO with an SMG, one man with an SMG, one light machine gun and crew, one assault rifle with Panzerfaust, one rifle with Panzerfaust, and two rifles. 251 which is regular, Puma, which is regular, and Tiger One, which is regular. And what's on the, what's on the, and on the hill? And the on the hill, which is veteran crew. Uh -huh. So looking good. A uh, nice late German army there. Tonight's scenario is envelopment, and uh, Spike has uh, been placed as a defender, and I'm going to be the attacker with the British, so Spike's going to put uh, at least half of his unit on the table, or could put at least half on and keep half off, but uh, he's decided he's going to bring it all on in the first wave, oh he's going to deploy it all, and uh, I can either bring on half, at least half, and have half off the table, or bring it all on in the first wave, and I'm going to bring it all on the first wave. In development, any of the reserve units cannot come on out flank, and that's to stop you hopping on at the uh, turn 5 or turn 6 and hopping off the board at the end. Um, to score points. Uh, so, in, envelop in envelopment, the aim is for the attacker to get uh, units into the defender's deployment zone, or scoring even higher, is to get them off the board edge uh, totally. So, uh, Spike's just setting up his uh, Horrible Lake Germans to, uh, to stop me from doing that. So, deployment's uh, been set up for the, uh, the Germans. So, we've got the Hannah Mag with a, a unit of Volkstrom in there. Uh, and he forgot to mention those at the uh, the initial set, set out. So we've got the Nibelwuffa on the other side there, uh, unit of infantry. Some more infantry behind the house. He's got his tiger set up in the woods. Uh, got a sniper there, and I uh, can't remember what the little team is behind it. Uh, Ossifer. Ossifer. Uh, machine gun uh, teams, two of the light machine guns there. Then the Panzer and a unit of infantry over to the far side. So, um, it'll be uh, preliminary bombardment to come in, and then we'll see what happens on that. Rolling for the uh, preliminary bombardment. Yep. It's a three, so it's in. It's in. Preliminary bombardment's come in, and it was a direct hit on this unit here. So it's one hit at, what was it? Six, which is two pins. Yeah, and a minus three and penetration. An automatic hit with plus three penetration. Rightio. Uh, so that's one dead. Uh, the Puma is Same. armor eight. Uh, yes. So it's seven on the top. Yep. Uh, and I get plus one for hitting it on the top. And it's three penetration, so it's four. Uh, so it's eight. Yeah, because it's one plus one plus uh, three, so that's four. So that's eight against your top armor of seven. So that's the penetration. 
and that's a two, so that's immobilised. Yep. And two pins. Yep. Pins. Um, do you check the turret? It'll have to point to the sky. <laughs> well, that's it. That's it. Yeah, because it's indirect from the top, and you don't know where it's coming from. Yeah. No. No. Uh, so the other one's uh, two pins for the uh, unit there. So I think it's just two pins for uh, the unit. And I'm not sure. Is it four? Just gives one pin, does it? Two pins, yeah. So we're just putting up the pins. Oh, like it's like confetti spike. Another five in the middle there. And, uh, and we've got a direct hit on the uh, nibble woofer. So uh, let's see what we score. Uh, so that's one man dead. And the two pins. And uh, that's that then for uh, the plume reaper moment. Quite good. Uh, why is it so bad for the uh, Germans? Because it's the British special rule that you roll two dice for the preliminary bombardment and you take the highest. And uh, I rolled quite well with it. So Sniper is going to take a shot at the light machine gun team in the middle. So uh, requiring threes. Where'd it go? <laughs> Try to roll it down the road. Two. Doesn't work. So the sniper fails so, to shoot. Uh, Andy's moved his uh, LMG team past its leadership check and they've gone into the, uh, the small walled enclosure. And he's going to take a long shot at my brain carrier. So uh, it's fives needed. Okay, there's a lot. Six hits. Yep. One pin. Sorry? It's one pin. One. That's all it is? Oh, don't, nothing more? Okay. No, because it's armour seven. Oh, okay. So, um, you can't actually penetrate it with your machine gun. Right. So, uh, it's a one pin uh, to the LMG. Sorry. It's the reaction they would make. Yep, that's the reaction they would Brought on the commando unit. Um, I'm, I'm packing the right hand flank uh, to see what we can do. But we're going to take a shot with the, the commando unit that's come on, and they are going to have a shot at the uh, LMG team. But it's going to be sixes followed by sixes. Five shots for the Vickers machine gun, and that's one six. Let's see if we can convert it into another six. No. So uh, rattles the cages, but doesn't do anything other than that. So we've uh, placed the uh, British artillery barrage to come down in that spot there. And uh, we'll see what that can disrupt. And I've brought on the Greyhound on this left-hand side on the road. I'm not going to run it off, which I could have done. Perhaps I should have done. But we'll use it to shoot the uh, infantry unit in the uh, field there. Uh, moved on is fours, long ranges. Five and soft cover six. So six is along the road, <coughs> and that's two. That's Shooting good. at vets, so I've got to convert these into fives. That'll be two then. <laughs> so we are going to have some uh, grim stuff here, possibly. Uh, Andy is uh, going to use his nibble woofer, and he. I was going to do a leadership test first. It's got two pins, so we're hoping for good things here. Six. That's not good things, but that's uh, one um, one pin gone. So he's going to target my observer. Radio. So we put a little marker down on him, don't we? We've got a little marker. Give us uh, one of your counters. So it goes on to him. And it's anything within... Six inches. Any units within six inches, yeah? Yeah. So it's... Uh, one there, one there, and one there. You don't need a marker. You just no. So it's just six inches of pin. So, uh, six, six for the uh, air observer, for the artillery observer. Nope. The infantry Infantry. Nope. No. The armoured car. Armoured car. Ah! And the mortar team. Mortar team. No. Ah! Boom. Oh, okay. Now, that's the template, isn't it? It counts as a heavy... 
Mortar. Counts as heavy mortar. Yeah. So, uh, four inch or five inch template. So the direct hit on the top of the um, Greyhound, it's open topped, so the armour is 7, so it's going to be armour 6 because it's a minus, uh, because it's on the top, um, but it gets plus 1 for hitting on top, and it gets plus 1 for open topped, and it's uh, penetration 3, so you're rolling a 5, you're on 5 at the moment, plus the dice. 2, so that's 7, so you've penetrated by 1. Uh, so roll on the penetration table. Five. It's a, a destroyed greyhound. I knew I should have run it off the table first turn. <laughs> I knew I should have done it, but I didn't. Roll on the uh, the Cromwell, and the Cromwell's advanced on, and he is going to take a shot at the people in the house. Uh, I've moved as a four. Uh, I'm in short range, so um, you just need a four. Four. So uh, it's uh, two inch HE. So I think that's a D3. Two inch is D6. Oh, it's D6. Two inch. D6, right. Okay, okay. Let's see. So let's see how many we hit. Two. Great. So not too bad. Um, one dead, was it, I think, in the end? Two, two dead and one pin on them. So that takes them up to two pins in the building. He's uh, moved his tiger over uh, and he's going to take a shot at the brain carrier. So it's moved for, could be short range. So better measure it, because you've got super super anti-tank gun, which has got a 36 inch range for half range. Is it 42? 84 inch range for a super, super heavy anti-tank. Well, uh, that's probably within 44, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, that'll be a four then. For moving. Ouch. Five. That'll be a hit then. Uh, so that's... Um, I've got seven armour on the front. Yeah. And... You are a... Seven. seven. Yep, so what I want you to do is to roll a one. One dice. One dice. Two. Uh, that's a penetration. Yep. Uh, so that's uh, one dice on the table. Roll a dice. Roll a dice. Five. That's a five, that's a blown up little car. And, the guys inside. and my guys inside, uh, they will take D6 hits. Five. That's five. Okay then, that's, uh, let's work so, out that. Uh, brain carrier's uh, destroyed, the unit has uh, debussed, and they're uh, going to take five hits, uh, and you need fives. Three hits, two Three sixes. hits, two sixes. Roll the two sixes again. Two fours. No, so uh, three possible dead. So I've got a medic just by the side of them. So uh, on a six, he saves them. Okay, medic, do your best. Oh, well, he saved one. So uh, two dead. So end of turn one, and we've got a dead greyhound. Uh, which is a bit of a shame, and we've also got a dead universal carrier. Uh, so uh, I'm still got to try and get across into the other side. That uh, Puma is immobilised, but it's still um, got its gun ready to fire. That Tiger is going to be a bit of a problem, uh, and that Noble Wuffer is going to cause me some grief, no doubt, throughout the rest of this game. Uh, so that was the end of turn one. We're going to move into turn two now, and uh, the first thing to come down is the artillery, and uh, we'll roll to see what happens with that. Two, delayed. However, with delayed, I can move it 12 inches if I wished. Uh, I don't think I'll bother, actually. I'll just leave it where it is. It's for the Germans. Spike's going to take leadership test for his Nebelwerfer to fire. 
So, uh, ten, one pin, nine. nine. Yep, lose the pin and they're ready to roll. So, I'm targeting the, uh, air, the artillery observer. So, uh, a six needed. Nope. Nope, and then a six for the squad, infantry yep. squad. Nope. nope, and a six for the mortar. No, nope. nope, not this turn around. There has been some umming and ahhing, uh, and I've got my Cromwell here, and I can see through that window of that house to the side of the Tiger. It's going to be long range four, hardcover six. Mind you, it's going through the window, so perhaps I shouldn't get hardcover. But uh, it's going through, going through there, so it's hardcover. Uh, so it's a, a six. Uh, and I'm going to have to go for it. I'm going to have to go for it. So, uh, six is needed. Not quite this turn. The uh, infantry unit there, a bit of a peppering. So, you can opt to go down. Okay, look, six is needed. Um, probably thrown. Yep. So two. Yep. In fact, that's too many dice. I'm not a German. So five dice to roll. No hits. Uh, they're veterans, aren't they? So they're ten down to nine. Seven. So uh, pin comes off, and they're going to shoot at the sniper. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okie dokie. Uh, you're not moving, have you? Nope. No, nope. so uh, it's fours, sixes. Sixes? Sevens, because it's a small team. Small team. Yep. Yep, that's for all, the whole group. Every, every th uh, yeah, because you've got assault rifles, haven't you? Uh, no, one's got assault rifle. Yeah. Two have got SMGs. SMGs are at long range, so yeah, it's all sevens followed by sixes followed by sixes. For all of them? All of them. Uh, LMG included? Yep. Same? Same. Rifle, so that's five for the LMG, yep. one for the rifle. One for the rifle. Four for the LMG. Four? Four. Five. Five. Plus one in it. Plus yeah, one, plus it is plus one. Yeah, five for the LMG. Yep. One for the rifle, one for the rifle, two for the SMG, two for the SMG, two for the assault rifle. Yes. Yep. So six is followed by six S. Nil point. Nil point. Nil point for the commandos. They're going to have to take a leadership test for Tiger Fear. Uh, so, uh, they're a, a 10 on a 9. Yep, they're good. And they are going to uh, take a little advance up. And, uh, well, no, no, they're just going to fire from where they are. So, they're going to fire from where they are at your guys in the. in that bit there. Uh, so, the Vickers gun, hard cover. So, sixes. So, two. So, fives needed to uh, convert. Two. And a possible exceptional. No. So, two men dead. And a pin. So that's quite good because um, that's either an NCO or two loaders or uh, an MG and a loader or one team, yeah. Can you take can you take it from the can the NCO go or does he have to be the last to be removed? He's got to be the last to re be removed unless he's um, exceptional. Yep, two loaders, so you're on minus ones to hits. Yep, okie dokie, that was uh, very good for my side. LMGs, pass their leadership test. Yep. Yeah, should have taken the leadership test. Nine, yep, they're good, because they're commandos. Yep. 
sixes followed by sixes. Yeah, sixes followed by sixes. Taking a shot at these, the majority are behind the hill. Cool, four. Yeah, four more sixes. One six, so that's a pin. And uh, a five to kill. No, no so one pin. behind the house, the Bren, ca Bren gun is going to take, or the Vickers. Vickers? No, Bren. One dice back. Bren gun's going to take a shot over at the uh, the guys over there. It's short range, uh, but a hard cover, so it's going to be uh, fives. So that's one. So a pin, but no dead. A shot with the mortar man. And he's going to take a shot. And a puma. So uh, I need a lucky six. No, nope, that's passed their leadership test and they're going to take a shot at this unit here. They can see the Bren guy. So it's sixes needed sixes because they got a pin. And shooting with a hard cover. Got one six. You need to do that another six with that one. Nah. So uh, no pins for the unit. Yeah. Moved out. So four and a five for the hedge. Taking a shot at the Cromwell. <laughs> Hit hits with a five. Uh, Plus seven. Yep. Yeah, so uh, nine at the front. I see the front. When you look at the template, so it's a penetration, so that's uh, 10, 8, 2, so it's one dice. That's, a, a dis that's an explosion destroyed. Yep, so that's, uh, that's a tank dead for you. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, so, Sniper's going to take a shot at the guys in the house, but he's got to take Tiger Fear for the tiger over the top. Oh, let's get another dice. So, uh, leadership 10, so it needs a 9. Yep. So, they need a 3. Yep. And then needs a 5. No. So, it's a pin on them. End of turn two, and the British are taking a bit of a hammer in here by the Tiger. Tigers accounted for the Cromwell. And the uh, Universal Carrier over here. British are trying to uh, take the cover of the houses, but they have got a German infantry unit in the building there. The uh, Puma is uh, probably going to go on ambush again this turn, if he gets the opportunity to. Um, unit in the centre is uh, on one pin, but has uh, lost their loaders. Tiger is running rampant there. Nothing to uh, really stop him. And my infantry are taking the advantage of the house here. So moving into turn three. Uh, it's going to be an uphill battle for the British, I think. So uh, let's move into turn three. So first dice out is um, the British, and we're going to use it for the mortar to fire at the armoured car. So um, I'm hoping that it will go do enough to put it down at least. Um, so it's not moved, so I need a five. Nope. Mm. Also, oh, got the um. Nope, the bombardment to come in. But there was Tiger Fear anyway, wasn't there? That was good. Um, this is for the bombardment to come in. Uh, four comes in, and it is D six plus six. So 12 inches from that point. D6 plus 6. Yep. The British artillery have come in and put uh, one pin on the LMG unit. Uh, they killed the sniper's mate and put three pins on him. They've put three pins on the unit in the house. They put uh, two pins on the, LM on the officer and it's a hit on top of the tank. So it's uh, plus 4 penetration for the heavy howitzer, uh, plus 1 for the top of the tank uh, and the top of the tank goes down to nine so I need a four to glance five to penetrate so let's see what we can come up with so that's a three so it's a hit uh, 
and it's a D6. So it's a four, is it four to, no, is yeah, so it's not four to glance, four to glance oh, so it's nice, just the hit with oh, it. Okay, right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's. Um, can you look at the heavy howitzer and see how many. Uh, I think it's D6 pins. D6 or 2D6? Heavy howitzer? Number of pins? Yep. Team six carrots, HE four inch. Four inch, right? So it's going to be at the the other little table for uh, four inch howitzer. So yep, yeah, just had a quick look, and it's D six pins for the uh, the tiger, and that's five pins. The one that we come up with, the uh, Nebelwerfer, has uh, fired from that d direction. It's within its forty five degree arc, and it was aiming at this corner unit. It could see it. Uh, so, roll to six, hit the, uh, didn't hit the unit, but it hit the other six, again, you, you look at everything in six inches, um, and it hits the medic, medic. Uh, it's hit the sniper, but there's a unit under the sniper that it's hit on a six, uh, so what we're trying to think is, does it work the same way as indirect fire so that the firing comes down from the top so you have to roll to see whether it goes through the floors and where it explodes uh, but we'll work out the the first two anyway um, so do you use the template for this no 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 it, it hits the unit it hits the unit and then does what um, and then just treat it as more fixes. so that's that's using the template is it yeah so when it hits the building, uh, it does D6, and then when you hit the troops outside, it's the template. Okay. Well, the, the, the medic is one person. The medic is one person. Right. Yeah. So he's going to be killed on a one. But, so you wouldn't use the template because that would takes the unit in. Uh, well, that it will hit. The, hit okay. It will hit the the unit, and you're going to take. Uh, at least two or three of the uh, of them. Well, you've got to put that in the middle, haven't you? Um, it doesn't have to be in the middle. It's just. Uh, so if you're, well, I suppose it's. Well, I suppose because like you're focusing on it's hitting that guy, isn't it? So you would uh, do that. Maybe the front four. Yeah, go front four. Is it the inner or the outer? Well, it's the it's a heavy mortar. So, so it's the inner, four inch mortar, four inch template. Yeah. Yep, so three or four. <coughs> Excuse me. Take it four and it makes much mods. Right, so what we've got to uh, do so for the So for the for the uh for the main guy the medic? Yeah, medic anything but a one. So he's dead? Yep. Medic's dead. Uh, yep, and for the unit you uh need ones. Anything but ones. Um, Earthy, but ones to say they're regular, so it's four, yep. Four shots? Yep, yeah. four. <laughs> so two of those dead. Yep. Uh, sniper team, it's D6. And I'm after D6, so six dice, yeah? No, roll a, roll a D6. And that's three. Uh, so it's threes needing ones. Three hits. Yeah. Yeah, three dice. Yep, because it's uh, it's in a building. So I need what, sorry? Uh, ones. So because it's minus four, is it? So they're heavy. fives. So yeah. it's four off. Uh, I think it's is it four off from the medium for the heavy mortar or three off? Penetration heavy mortar. Three. Three. So uh, twos. So it's fives down to twos, so yeah, ones, ones will fail, so. Ones will fail, and how many, how many dice, sorry? So, so it's three off, isn't it? So, yeah, so um, five, four, three, two save, so um, twos fail, so uh, three dice to get twos, threes. Yeah, they're dead anyway. Yep, sniper's dead. And then... Looking at the units underneath. And then having said that, you just had the mortar, the shell has just landed yep. on the floor. So, you, so you've got the one, so the next one is whether it goes through 
the actual shot. This is this is the diff- difficult bit. Is it is in, does it count as indirect from the level worth? Huh? I would have said so. So uh, you you do that bit. So it's shooting at it's fifty fifty which floor it goes on to. Okay. So I think it's uh, one two three. It hits the top and four five six. It goes down in, down down below. So I want four five six. Yep. I rolled five, so it's gone into yep. the lower so floor. So it goes on to the lower floor to explode. Yeah. Uh, and it's d six because you've got the people in there. So it's d six hits. So that's two, uh, and again that is going to be their, their veterans, so they're on a five, so it's minus three, so uh, twos to survive, so three, four, five, and above, uh, one dead, uh, roll to see if you get an exceptional with a six, no, so just one dead, uh, but pins wise, it now works as a heavy Mortar. mortar. Yeah. So that's uh, D6. How many pins? Heavy mortar. Fixed indirect fire. Yeah, indirect fire. <coughs> three inch. Three inch. Uh, so on the next page over, there's a little table. Uh, three inch. Hits versus targets in buildings is 2D6. Oh, is it 2D6? 2D6. Right. So I need to roll another. Uh, roll another dice for the people in the building. Yeah, so that's four. So roll that again. Six. So how many did you get? Four. Four. So that's one hit. Roll three more dice. Uh, so three, three dead. And two of them are sixes. Yeah, roll that again. No. So three dead. In total, there. Is it three dead bats? Yeah. Yep. From the second dice, or from the, and then one from the first dice. Yeah. So it's four total. Uh, so, fifty uh, percent. So, yeah, it's going to be a leadership test, but it's now pins. Yeah. So. D three pins. D three pins then. Five. So that's three pins. Let's just use your little dice there for a minute. Three pins. Uh, so it's a leadership test. Down to seven from ten. Back up to eight because of the uh, officer. Yep, they survive. Uh, and I think because these got hit, um, roll a, see how many pins for these. So one pin for that, so that takes them up to two. Yeah, so I think that's about it. So yes, I think that's uh, that's sorted that out. Yeah. Uh, so the I've got uh, three submachine gun guys in the building here, and we measured across, and it's six uh, six inches to uh, the building there. So um, it would be a five down to four. Uh, we've got two possibles. Uh, you're a bit seasick there, I would think. Uh, so two possibles. Um, they're fives, but in the building uh, they get plus one to their that. So it's a six to hit them in the building to kill. No, nope, just a pin. German squad has moved up to the uh, edge of the hard to the ruins and the hard cover, and is taking a shot at the squad here. Looked at the angles with its covered hard cover. So six is needed with the assault rifles. Long range four, hard cover six. So two. And then four's needed. One. One, yep. exceptional, yep. Roll in, see if you get anything. No. Nope. So one pin and right, one This uh, infantry unit is going to move to respond to these. It uh, makes them a little bit more tricky. So the LMG needs a sixes to hit, uh, and that's none. And the rifles need sixes followed by sixes. And there's two possibles. Nope, nothing. A little bit of retaliation at, uh, for turn three with the uh, artillery coming in and putting the pins on uh, the unit. 
but the Neville Werfer uh, shot over here really did hit the uh, the British hard, uh, and they're struggling to regroup to uh, try and get across that road. There's an infantry unit of the Germans in that building on ambush, um, which is uh, causing a bit of a trouble, and the Puma is on ambush as well. So anybody running across is going to take a, a bit of a risk. Uh, so we uh, on this side. The infantry unit advanced up, and I've moved these out to uh, to face them, but they're now at a risk of getting uh, counter-attacked by shooting. Uh, we'll move into turn four and see how it goes for the British from there. So, uh, ambushes on the uh, building, unit in the building, and the Puma. So, uh, risky bits over there. And decisions whether we try the mortar. Ah... Uh, but I think we probably will. We'll fire the mortar at the Puma. So we'll put a fire order on the mortar and we need a four. Nope. So three next turn for the mortar. If he's alive. So, uh, Nibble Weffer's going to take a shot at the uh, unit. Mind you, it's uh, worth... T you get two shots, don't you, really? I'll go down with them. Yep, I'll go down. Again, six. Yep, no. nope. And, and we'll go observer. down with the observer. No. Nope. So they're two down. So pass me two dice if you would please, Spike. Yep. So. so, German unit has moved up into the ruins there and they're taking a shot at the infantry here. Um, it's uh, six is needed. Yep. No, nope, so no, uh, no hits. So the commandos in this end house are going to take another shot at the unit in this house here. So I need uh, sixes. I think sixes, wasn't it? So it would be. No, it's not. It's uh, fives. That's quite good, isn't it? And then sixes. That's the tricky bit. Nope. He's going to so fire at the uh, commando team down here. So it's long range four, pin five, uh, uh, hard cover, six of all of our sixes. Two possibles. Yep, so you get a pin on them. And uh, four... Five to kill. Yep, so you get the four commandos out, and uh, this unit were ambush, so they're going to take a shot. It was down to twos because of the um, closeness, but they're back up to six because of the four pins. So lots of shots needing sixes. Excellent. None. None. So we will return fire. So, uh, for the majority of them, it's a three. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Um, I still think because you're in the building, you get the six. Because you just you get the plus one. Three. Sixes. And see if they're exceptionals. One exceptional, and that will be the uh, LM. Oh. LMG. And then we've got two more dice left. Needing uh, one dice left. Sorry. Uh, needing a. Because it's the rifle, yeah. so threes. Yeah. <laughs> Gets. Oh no! Right, the crack again. No misses. End of turn four, and uh, during that, the tiger failed to rally. It went down. Uh, units here um, took a leadership test to fire, but uh, then didn't shoot and kill anything. Units over here still got their pins on it. Over here, the uh, commandos have uh, moved across the road. Didn't take any casualties and put some uh, hurt on the people in the building. Puma's still on ambush. 
British took one casualty from some good rolling by the uh, the Germans. Uh, and the mortar is requiring a three this turn to hit the Puma. So we're going to move into turn five. Nice out of turn five is the uh, British, and we're going to take a shot with the mortar at the Puma. Needing a three this time. Yes, it's a hit. Uh, so it's um, penetration three. Top armor seven. seven, and you're a minus one for the top and minus. No, no, top, no sorry. Top armor is eight. Top armor is eight. Uh, I'm three penetration plus one for the top is four. Yes. Front armor is eight. So you're top seven, seven, and my penetration is four. But it gets plus one for the top, so it's five. So uh, let's roll to see what happens. Five uh, plus four is nine, so it's penetration uh, of only two. Uh, but it's a six, so it's blown up. Well, that's a little bit of a bonus. Sad state of affairs after all that. I um, realised that I hadn't taken the Tiger Fear test for the uh, the Tiger for firing my mortar. Uh, so uh, I rolled the dice and uh, I failed. <laughs> Which was a bit sad really. So next dice out was the British and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run the commandos hopefully from the building in here and uh, I need a leadership test because I can see the tank fear uh, so uh, they're on 10s down to 9s back to 10s yep so they're ok so these are going to run across the road <coughs> and you're going to take a shot at them as you do yep so it's um. Three's old hazard, I guess. Yep. And I've rolled quite a lot. Five hits. So five's needed from these. And I've rolled one. One six. So you have to possible exceptional. And it is. Is exceptional. What do you want? Uh, oh well, there's only an NCO. Okay. So you take the NCO. I'll take the NCO. Right, yo. LMG team have passed their leadership test and moved to the edge of the wall to take a shot at the commandos at the uh, side of the house. Uh, needing sixes. So one hit. Needing fives to kill. Nope, nope. so one pin. Uh, needing uh, a four to pass their leadership test, they did. So they've lost one pin, so they've now got five pins. They're taking a shot at the, uh, the guys outside. Uh, so, uh, would be twos, uh, sixes followed by sixes. Yeah. One. One. Let's see if you can follow that one with a six. No. So I just moved up onto the hill, so it's um, four. It's going to take a shot at the mortar team. Uh, so it's, uh, yeah, four's needed. One. One. There we go, misses. The, uh... Unit of advanced out of the ruins going to take a shot, leading fours. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, fours to kill. Two. Two. And another pin. That's the uh, the problem. End of turn five and still looking very bleak for the British. The unit down here have picked up three pins now and I lost a couple of men. Mortar team is uh, under pressure. Had to advance the infantry unit out to the side of the house to uh, just give them, trying to give them an opportunity to get them into the uh, German deployment zone. I've got a unit here which is not probably going to go anywhere uh, and I've got some units in the house which might get out. But we shall see as we move into turn six. Right, hopefully this time the mortar will actually fire. We'll uh, need a leadership test. Four, ten. ten. <sighs> Goes down. Uh, tiger fear has been a real pain. As it is. <laughs> Me. 
No, Germans up next. I think uh, that infantry unit could be in for a bit of a p yep. pinning, shouldn't it? Yep. Yep. Fire. Can't go down. Six. Yep. Two. No. Uh, it's going to be threes. Yeah, threes. Two, three, four, five, six. And I've missed with two. Needing fours with the remainder. And we've rolled two. Two dead. Two dead. And two pins. <laughs> I've been a bit sneaky here. I've been able to get two uh, two squads out to uh, hide behind the puma. So Spike is trying to retaliate now with uh, his puma. No, uh, his tiger. So uh, leadership down from nine to seven. And it's an eight, so it goes down. Oh, I needed that. I did need that. Big time. Big time. Big time. German unit has advanced up to take shots. They've got to pin those, so they're going to need fives because these are down. Oh, no. No, it's not, is it? Um, hang on, let's, let's work it back. Uh, they've advanced up. No, advanced they've got assault rifles so they're within that so that would take it down to two uh, it would be fours in close yeah so it's going to be fours needed fours uh, so One, two, four three, four hits and then fours needed again and we've rolled three three hits, hits so two three exceptionals three dead and two exceptionals yeah yep uh, no just nope. needed and another pin, so four pins. But that's a leadership test. Oop, as we go around to the dice, get some dice. Leadership test, uh, so that's nine down to five. Nope, dead and gone. That probably tipped it in your favour there. Probably just uh, snuck that one there. The unit here has advanced up. Uh, it's going to be threes because you're at short range. Yep. And then they're down, so that takes it to five. Five, yep. And I've got four guys. Four guys, yep. Two, three. In the garden next to the building. Two, three. Definitely OC, do you want me to throw that one again? Nah, that's right. That's three hits. Yep, four's needed. One. one man, one man dead. And a click and a pin. Yep, so they survive for the moment. Took a chance and charged the four commandos at the four here grenadiers. Four veterans against four veterans and they're four tough fighters against four tough fighters. It went down to the wire. We had one man apiece left and the commandos fortunately managed to take out the last defender in the building. Uh, consolidation move of four, take me out of the building, and uh, it's numbers of units within this base line, and I don't know how many points I get for being in the base. So we're working out numbers. At the end game, Captain, which side is won by adding up the victory points as follows? If one side has at least two more than another, the attacker. Yep. Scores one victory point for every enemy unit destroyed. One. So one. <laughs> he also scores two victory points for each of his own units that are inside the defender's setup area. So that's 12 inches up 12 in, inches isn't it? From my base edge. Right, so. Yep, they're definitely one, in. One, two, three. Four. Four. Yep, four in. So that's eight points. That's. Yep, eight plus one is nine. nine. And you've scored. Uh, Defender scores two points for every enemy unit destroyed. Wow, two points for each enemy unit destroyed. Two, four, six. Two, four, six, seven. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fourteen, nine. Fourteen, nine. Yeah, I think that's a win to you then. Yeah, yeah. scores two, uh, two points difference. Yep, yep, so that's a win for the Germans. Uh, that was a real hard-fought one, that. The um, the Tiger Fear and uh, taking out the 
Universal Carrier, the Tank, and the Greyhound right at the beginning. Uh, stuffed them, didn't it, really? Yeah, no, well played there, Spike. Yeah, keep going. Keep going, really interesting one. Really good. Well, a bit of a real hard-fought game that one was. Uh, I think the Nubble Werfer uh, did cause me a bit of grief on that left-hand flank, and uh, just uh, killing the units that it did. Uh, and the Tiger, uh, the shots that uh, Spike got with them, uh, decimating the uh, the long range of the gun, uh, really has a powerful effect. Uh, and certainly I couldn't get rid of it, which uh, which calls me dearly. Uh, so a good win to Spike uh, with his late Germans. Uh, a fun game, really. Uh, using the British and makes a change. Um, so, yeah, back to the drawing board with the British to see what I can do. Perhaps a market garden or perhaps uh, a little later where they meet up with the uh, paratroopers and the uh, commandos. Uh, we'll see how we go with a bit of light tank and some jeeps. But that's for uh, the future down the, uh, down the pipeline. So thank you very much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't or uh, share with your friends if you would be so kind. See you next time. Thanks for watching.